Hey guys, welcome to Legends Preserve here at LPGA International in the world famous Daytona Beach, Florida. Guys, this community is amazing. I mean, the weather down here is great sunshine all the time, great blue skies everywhere. I love it, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to live. And not just that, here at LPGA International, here at Legends Preserve, there's a 36 hole golf course community here, right? So two 18 hole courses adding up to 36 holes. If you wanna improve your golf game here, you could practice on the putting greens up there, chipping, Chipping out of the sand traps, the driving range, a beautiful, amazing restaurant up there is to die for, okay? The pro shop up there has all top notch, all the newer brands that are out, the newest lines that they have out for you to do all your shopping up there for your golfing, for gifts, whatever it may be, okay? But here today we're showcasing the actual Flamingo. This is a four bedroom, four bath home here with a three car garage, okay? And as you can see right here, this is where they're working out of, okay? so. Where you see these storefronts here on the glass, right? Those are gonna be garage doors. So this will be a one car garage door over here. Then over here to the left is going to be your two car garage door. This will stuff will be all knocked out of here and this is where your driveway is gonna be, okay? And keep in mind, all their homes out here, they're all 10 foot ceilings in all the areas, okay? And your trays are 11 foot, but all your doors are eight foot tall, okay? Let's go inside and check this home out and see what it all has to offer, guys. Come on in, guys. And here as you walk up, you'll see a nice eight foot tall entry door coming in. And please excuse, there are some painters in here doing some touch up work. So that's why you see their shoes out here and you'll see them in here as we do this tour. Watch your step there, Dent. Hey guys, here we are in the inside here and you can just see this massive foyer here. We have our 10 foot ceilings up here with a tray ceiling, beautiful chandelier here. It's a great, massive entrance to here. You could even check out all your trim work and stuff on these walls with these one by twos. Sectioning and framing off sections of this wall, just adding more detail to it, right? Opposed to just having just a plain blank wall here. So come on this way. We're gonna go here. We're gonna start off at bedroom number four, okay? So come on this way. And I understand that the numbers, you know, you're like, well, why aren't you starting off at bedroom one? Or if you're gonna use the master at one, why, why don't you start off at two? And you'll understand because we got the floor plan on this video also. So when I say bedroom four, you'll be able to go to bedroom four and see on the actual floor plan yourself, right? Right where we're at. So here we are in bedroom four. This beautiful 10 foot ceilings, letting abundance of light in with these two grand uh, windows right here. And look at these built-ins here, guys. I love this. Look at the detail, very symmetrical. This looks great. I like how they have the light up there shining down on your artwork that's over here. Beautifully well done. We also have our closet here, which they don't use the bifold doors. These are hinged doors, swinging doors, right? Which is always really nice. And just with a little closet here, pretty standard, nothing exciting about the closet. And let's go ahead and go this way. We're gonna go into the actual uh, bathroom number four also right here. Here we go guys, we have these beautiful shaker style cabinets here with the 2CM quartz top, double vanities. So this, this bathroom here is gonna be utilized between bedrooms four and bedrooms three, which we'll get to right after this, okay? We have our tile work going all the way up to the ceiling here. Nice, beautiful window, letting in an abundance of natural light. And here we'll go, we'll back out of here and we're going to come over here to bedroom number three. And this is a beautiful bedroom. 
as you walk in, you could just see the sunlight coming in. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, look at the shiplap siding on the wall. No, this is actually tongue and groove, um, wood tongue and groove here on the actual walls. And then at the very top, we have three steps of molding. So it's not crown molding, but what we have here is a one by six, a one by four, and then a one by two at the very top. Check that detail out. That looks so nice. And then we have our closet over here. Again, we have the hinged doors that swing. So you don't have to worry about any bifold doors coming out of adjustment and all that stuff. They're, they're just, they're a disaster to deal with those bifold doors. Just a cheap way to get out of it. All right, so let's go ahead and, and walk out of here. Um, we're going to come here into the actual foyer. <clears throat> we'll come this way. This here is the door going out to the garage. There's some people in there working right now. Over here, we have our laundry room. Has its own sink in there also. Shaker style cabinets with two CM quartz over there, you can see. Your washer and dryer. Over here, we have our drop zone. Same style cabinets, shaker, same color, same size and color quartz tops. We have some 42 inch upper cabinets here, which is great for storage. They come with three shelves in them. This actually has crown molding on the top also and they're using it just for their storage here, the builders are. So as we come this way, we have a closet here, and this is the AC closet, a nice Lennox Elite unit in there. And we'll come on down here to bedroom two. Beautiful bedroom. They actually have crown molding stepped up off of a one by six up there, making it look a little bit more grand up there. Beautifully done. One by two coming down the wall, just giving it more detail in here with the wallpaper along the wall. As you can see, welcome to Daytona Beach, which it is a world famous Daytona Beach. And you actually see a picture over here of the Daytona International Speedway. Come on this way, Dempsey, and check out, this is the actual bathroom here. This, this bedroom two has its own ensuite. So this is a very nice bed or bathroom. It has a window behind the door here. You have your shaker style cabinets, your two CM quartz tops, and come on in here. You can uh, see how the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. Well done. So we'll come on out this way. Oh, before we leave, let's check out this closet here. So this is an actual walk-in closet in this suite, which has got a very nice size to it. And then we're gonna come this way here, and we have a nice step-in closet here. And we will carry on this way. We're gonna walk out of this side of the home. We're gonna come back into this nice grand foyer here. And then we will turn this way to your left into the flex room. I love how they have this decorated with the Harley Davidsons. I mean, Daytona Beach is famous for this stuff, right guys? You got bike week, which people come from all over the world. People bring their bikes from all over the nation here. And several people ride them from cross country. So very cool. This room here can also be used as a workout room, a home office, play room for kids, whatever you wanna use it for. I really like the detail they used in here. They have six different steps, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, yep, six steps of, of molding up there. I mean, look how nice that is with the recessed lights up there. That's beautiful and well done. And we'll come out here guys, and now we're gonna walk into this beautiful grand area. We have our living room, family room right over here to the left. 10 foot ceilings, we have 11 foot up here in this tray, and look at the detail. I've never seen this design done before. This is a one-off, one of a kind. You'll never see this exact design, 
This is just specifically done for this home here. Well done. A lot of natural light coming in here. We have some blue this queen up on the windows because they were doing some work on the back porch here so we won't be able to get back there today through these doors but we will get back there we'll walk around and show you the little pool that they have back there and all that good stuff at the very end um, but as we come this way we're going to walk into the kitchen area this is a nice big grand open floor plan and look how big this island is this is gigantic I mean, this space in here is just beautiful. We have a nice undermounted sink here, stainless steel sink. Good water pressure. We have an air switch here for the garbage disposal. We have our dishwasher right here. Again, we have our shaker style cabinets with our 2CM quartz tops over here. We have our 42 inch upper cabinets right with three shelves in them not counting the bottom which would be used for one so you have realistically four right but just an abundance of storage in these kitchens here i love these 42 inch uppers that they use right we have crown molding up here this nice white subway backsplash tile here going all the way to the ceiling we have a samsung appliance package top of the line and listen that's how you know you have enough CFM to suck all that steam and smoke when you're cooking, making sure none of this stuff gets throughout your house. And it's all vented outside, not inside. We have a 30 inch Samsung electric cooktop here. Okay. And these cabinets, I mean, there's just so much storage in here. So much. I mean, the drawers. We have our wall cabinet, wall oven cabinet here. So this is your actual microwave. And then your oven down here. This cabinet here is 24 inches deep, which is giving you a lot of storage up here. Your wall cabinets are 12 inches deep. Your bases are 24 inches deep. And this cabinet, as you can see, comes out here 24 inches like your base cabinets and goes all the way up. So you have all this storage at, at looks like 33 inches wide by 24 inches deep which is just gives you a lot of space up there we have our refrigerators over here a refrigerator and freezer nice area here again you know 42 inch uppers everywhere beautiful 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 now let's walk over here this is where we're going to come into the messy kitchen Dempsey, what do you think about these messy kitchens? I love them. a lot of space. There it is, you know, like, so it's a whole other refrigerator in here, okay? You have your refrigerator cabinet up there coming out 24 inches. You have your coffee maker over here, 42 inch uppers there. You know, you could set your appliances in here, just an area where you can set stuff out and uh, don't have to worry about making your kitchen where everybody sees it when they walk in messy with stuff all over and over here we're gonna have your walk-in pantry which is very very large nice well done again it just feels so big in here guys with all the natural light pouring into these homes and with the 10 foot ceilings and the eight foot doors it just it just does something man it just makes it feel so big in here so we'll turn around over here Dempsey and we're gonna go over here to the actual dining room which you have these two windows over here letting in light. A nice slider here. You're not seeing too much of the light come in because there's the blue visqueen up over there because they're doing some stucco work and some painting over here. They actually switched out the sliding glass doors here and upgraded them and that's, the, that's what's going on over there right now. But I love this chandelier here. You like that, Dimps? Yeah, it is. You know, you have your one by four trim going up the wall here. I like how they position their light switch here just perfect. Some builders and places you'll go into, this light switch will be over here or too close to it. They may even trim down the bait, the face plate on it. You know, this is well thought out and a well-built home. I love this wallpaper they used here. It actually looks like wood. Now let's go ahead and come on in here to the actual primary suite. It has a little area here 
Um, that way you're, you know, it's, it's like a little, not a waiting area, but a little niche here built off of it. So it gives it more depth and detail, right? So it's not like your, your door is just right here on the edge. So it just gives it a lot more character and style detail. I really like this a lot. And check this out, the primary suite here. Look at this stained coffered style ceilings up here. It's to die for, I love this. This is one of my favorite styles. I love the color. It's got pre-wired already. There's actually speaker. You can hear the music coming through them right now. 10 foot here, 11 foot up there in the top of the tray. We have three nice windows here, letting an abundance of light in here. I love this place. I love this room. The brick that they have here, the stonework. You know, this is real stone, guys. You hear that? That's real stone. Beautiful and well done. Crown molding above that, stepped up, making it more grand look. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go this way into the actual primary bathroom. We'll walk through this nice eight foot door opening here. As you come in, you can't help but notice right to your left, this huge walk-in shower with two big transom windows up here, letting a ton of light in. We have a huge bench here along the side, shampoo niche over here. We have another shampoo niche over here. And the thing I like about this is right when you walk in, you could just turn the water on right here and it comes out of the wall over there. That way it gets nice and warm for you and you don't have to get wet. Let it get to the right temperature you want it at. Well thought out. Nice tiles here all the way to the ceiling. Nice um, two by two tiles down here on the, the floor of the shower. We have a double vanity. And then we have a utility cabinet right here in the middle, which is really nice for you know your towels, rags. I mean, just a ton of storage in here. All your linens and stuff could go in here. Then you have your vanity on the right side and one symmetrically identical on the left side, your shaker style cabinets here. Uh, I like the eight inch spreads that they put on their plumbing fixtures here. So they're not just using just a basic four inch spread one where everything's all together. So these are three separate holes drilled into your quartz top here, which is really nice. And that's an upgrade also, by the way. And as we continue on this way, we have our water closet, which is where the toilet is. Another window here, letting a ton of natural light in. And then we can continue back here into the actual walk-in closet, which is a very large walk-in closet. Again, 10 foot ceilings, 10 foot ceilings at the lowest everywhere in this house. The trays are upwards of 11 feet. And this, this is a huge walk-in closet, huge. Okay guys, and this is gonna wrap up the tour today here at the Flamingo here at Legends Preserve at LPG International in the world famous Daytona Beach, Florida. You know, guys, if you are interested in, you know, buying or selling, investing or relocating here in Florida, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 407-314-6969. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. It really means a lot to me. And I really, really appreciate you guys staying through the whole process and watching this whole tour here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.